Well, folks, here it is, our second day at the Brigands. Thanks for a fantastic day yesterday, Richard. And yeah, hopefully, the weather's a, a little bit wet, but uh, we, it doesn't matter to, to the Brigands. They always fly in any weather, don't they, really? Well, what we don't want is that howling, gailing wind, which makes them impossible. But we had a fantastic day yesterday. Oh, for keeping our fingers crossed, this weather don't spoil it too much. No, it'll be fine. It's due to uh, due to blow it blow through at eleven o'clock, so we should be absolutely fine. Fingers crossed. Yeah, and at our favourite place, well, our favourite organiser, Richard Stop Croft, it. the best in the best in the country. Uh, Brilliant. We try. We try. I sent the cameraman with Alan Carr on the first drive, who managed to shoot a couple of nice ones. Well, AB, that was a proper display of shooting. Yeah. Now, what did you think, Giles? I think outstanding. Yeah, shake yeah. the man's hand. Well that, done, mate. That, well cop, done. that cop bird you pulled down there, mate, got to be, what, 85, 90 yards. When I put a gun up at it, I thought, this is out of range. Yeah. But, and folded it. You've got to have a go. Yeah, have a got go. to have a go. Yeah. yeah. And it worked. Folded it. That's a dark storm. Dark storm works. Dark, yeah. what, what were you, 36 gram fours? Yeah. Which are really a three, yeah. Anyway, I'll tell you what, in the face. Yeah. <laughs> nice to see you, mate. And you know what I say? Good luck to the Lincolnshire Spud Bashers. <laughs> well done, Jill. Well shot, mate. Well done, Andy, mate. Well shot. <laughs> a bit of banter turned a 65 yarder into a monster 85 yard bird. <laughs> Nothing like a good wind up to keep the banter flowing. That's what shooting's all about. Good friends and a good day out. Look at that for a backdrop. We're, uh, we're at uh, a drive called Hornet's Nest. And uh, I've only shot this drive a couple of times over the years, but it only works in certain winds. I think uh, it's the right wind to judge. I don't think we'd be here, but uh, there's some fantastic birds on this. And not easy at all. Killable, you know, they're in range, no problem that, that way, but the, they're in all things here. Always working from side to side. You'll see them work the tails here. But yeah, and they'll channel themselves down this valley towards the the, uh, the backdrop there. That's their home. So the, they'll be screwing like buggery down to get to that. Very fast. What a lot of lead on these uh, these birds, which you'll see when we when we get the camera on them. So hopefully we'll pull a few nice birds down for you. The cameraman is back with me when I managed to pull some nice shots off that were easy for the cameraman to get on film. Johnny has been filming by me long enough now to know once I've locked onto a bird, he just has to follow the end of the battles to get everything perfect. And then result that I always look for is 
that perfect shot and obviously the bird stone dead in the air. And we, we managed a few of these, so hope you enjoy these. Fourth drive, the devil's chair. And uh, believe me, I think the devil is up in these birds sometimes because they are extremely difficult birds. Every drive here is, is a thinking man's drive. It ain't for the faint-hearted uh, brigands. It's, it tests man and the weapons and the ballistics. It just gets tested to the limit here. But that's what we've come for. We haven't come for any, anything easy. We've come to test ourselves. And believe me, if you want a, if you want a real test, then Wales is the place to come. Never ever fails to, to put a decent bird on. And today we've seen, seen some of the most fantastic birds. You know, good bird shot all the way down the line as well. But I'm single gunning again, and uh, I've tried double gunning this morning, but my, my, back, my back isn't up to it. I had a new knee a few months ago, <clears throat> and I finished up with a bloody, just got over that and finished up with a bloody chronic back pain. So I'm just uh, going steady away with the, uh, with the single gun. Maybe what 60 or 70 shots for 10 birds. <laughs> they were uh, actual skyscrapers. You just got to pick through them to see what you can shoot, but they, even the ones that are killable are very difficult birds. Uh, not easy at all. But what a day. As I say, if you ever want to come and get tested, get down to Wales, especially the brigands. It's a business. Well, I'll tell you what, I've never seen them fly as well as this. It's unreal. Yeah. Yeah. And everything's gone for it. And they haven't just gone launched off the, the tops there. They've got the they've, up they've meant it, haven't they? Mm. Unreal. Well, what a, what a, hey, what a fantastic two days, mate. Pleasure. Pleasure to see you and a pleasure to be here, mate. Always good to see you. Yeah. End of the film. And as usual, thank you for watching. Hoping you enjoyed the shooting as much as I did shooting it. I hope you enjoyed watching it. And here's to many more days out in the field amongst good friends having some good crack. Thank you, I'll see you all soon. <laughs>